My mum used to sew from when I was a kid, so basically she taught us how to sew. I was sewing pencil cases at eight years old, so I was always around mum and sewing machines, and, and I always loved it. So even through school, um, I used to sew and sell pencil cases. I was hustling from a very young age, um, and it just was sort of a natural progression. I would probably say my style is feminine with a touch of edge. I'm all about the woman looking good, feeling good and having a quality product. Travelling really gives me a lot of inspiration but also I love fashion, I love blogs, magazines, um, that type of thing so you can't help but like get inspiration from everywhere. I feel like cut probably has a lot more power than all the details so I've stripped back a lot of the pretty and the, all the details like the crystals and it's more about the cut of a dress and just making it fit perfectly. Being chosen to design the Virgin Australia uniform was the best thing in the world. It was amazing. We've actually kept the same energy that Virgin's always had, but we've just added a bit more sophistication and chic to the uniform. When I pitched to do the uniforms, um, John Borgetti had just come on board and I knew that he was going to change where Virgin was headed. So rather than researching Virgin, I researched John Borgetti and he's Italian. His chic, I knew that he would take Virgin to the next level. So what I did in my pitch was I created a uniform for what I thought would suit where he was headed. And thank God it worked. I realized that what I love most about making uniforms is getting to the people. So for me, talking to the staff, like before I even pitched for the uniforms, I spoke to all the staff and I was like, what do you need? What do you feel comfortable in? Um, you know, and I really love, you know, getting feedback and creating something for them that they love. I was inspired by flying in the 60s, so that's what I wanted to capture, but I also had to capture that glamour but use things um, that really were specific to cabin crew. So for instance, the shirts actually have a treatment in the fabric called Permacool and it keeps the body cool when it's in hot climates. There's also a treatment in the fabric where if you drip some water on it, it just sprinkles off. Um, I've put things like a small split in the sleeve so they've got extra movement. In the dress I've added a yoke and that's really good for hiding the stomach and giving you more of a streamlined look. The pants are very flattering from size 6 up to size 30. It's got a side zip and they're very simple. They've got the yoke followed through from the dress and um, all this stuff is sort of a combination of making it functional but looking chic and glamorous at the same time. I'm really blessed to have beautiful cabin crew and beautiful staff to wear it every day so I'm very lucky in that regard but I got given a really good colour palette so I use the red and the lilac and it's really striking so a lot of people come up to me and they're like oh I just love the uniform you can see them a mile away. A big part of designing new uniforms is about lifting staff morale so for me seeing that changeover from virgin staff wearing the old uniform to the next day they stood taller they love their jobs more they groomed better and I love being a part of that. The Virgin Australia Melbourne Fashion Festival is great. It's a great platform for designers and it's also for the people as well. So it's not just for the wholesalers, it actually gets everybody involved. So anybody can go to the shows, people from all around the globe attend it and it's really exciting weeks. I don't predict trends. <laughs> I just know what I like and I do it. You know, whenever you try and do something, it's not natural. What I do comes from my heart. So if I see it and I like it, I just, do it. I don't think too much about it.